subscribe to Dr. Khalkar's classroom channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates. Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. In my previous lecture video, I have discussed about interference phenomena. In this lecture video, I will discuss about applications of interference. So let's get started. The content of this lecture video is as follows. I will discuss about applications of interference. First application, testing optical flatness and second one is anti-reflection coating. Let's see first application of interference that is testing optical flatness. Among many different types of tests for optical surface quality, a few that gained popularity amongst a mature are the Foucault test, Ronchi test, Venio null test, Hindle Spear test, Dolan Ross null test, Offner null test, double pass test, and more recently interferometric tests. The phenomena of interference is used in testing the plainness or flatness of the surface. If the two surfaces OA and OB are perfectly plain as shown in this figure, the air film between them gradually varies in thickness from point O to A. The fringes are of equal thickness as each fringe is the locus of the points at which the thickness of the film has a constant value. If the fringes are not of equal thickness, it means that surface is not plane. Interferometric testing of optical surface quality makes clever use of interference of light, which under specific conditions can produce visual patterns disclosing surface topography down to a fraction of wavelength. In general, the interferometer is an optical device combining two wavefronts one is reference which is very perfect and the other produced by the test surface. In order to produce the interference pattern making test surface literally visible at well below this sub wavelength size level. The simplest and probably the oldest interferometer consists of two flat surfaces positioned at a slight angle one to another as shown in this diagram. As light passes through the two pieces of glass, refraction is negligible at the actual tilt angles for principal rays, that is the wavefront, at every section where the gap increases by about half wave, waves tend to interfere destructively, forming dark lines, so called interference fringes. The shape of lines depends directly on the surface shape. If both surfaces are flat, the interference lines are straight as shown in figure A. If one or both surfaces are curved, the dark lines of destructive interference will form circular with rotationally symmetrical surface as shown in figure B and C. Surface irregularities will show as deviation of the interference lines from either straight, curved or circular line form and can be measured to a small fraction of wavelength. Now let's see second application of interference that is anti-reflection coating. An anti-reflective or anti-reflection coating is a type of optical coating applied to the surface of lenses and other optical elements to reduce reflection. In typical imaging system, this improves the efficiency since less light is lost due to reflection. In complex systems such as telescopes and microscopes, the reduction in reflections also improves the contrast of the image by elimination of stray light. This is especially important in planetary astronomy. In other applications, the primary benefit is the elimination of the reflection itself, such as a coating on eyeglass lenses that makes the eyes more visible to others. The comparison between glasses, lens without anti-reflective coatings and the lens with anti-reflective coatings is shown in this diagram. Note the reflection of the photographer in the top lens and the tinted reflection in the bottom. 
एंटी रिफ्लेक्टिव क्वेंटिक्स आर यूज इन ए वाइड वराइटी ऑफ एप्लीकेशन वेयर लाइट पासिस थ्रू एन ऑप्टिकल सर्फेस एंड लो लॉस और लो रिफ्लेक्शन इज डिजायर एग्जाम्पल्स इंक्लूड्स एंटी ग्लेयर कोटिंग्स ऑन करेक्टिव लेंसेस एंड कैमरा लेंस एलिमेंट्स एंड एंटी रिफ्लेक्टिव कोटिंग्स ऑन सोलर सेल्स नाउ कंसिडर ए सबस्ट्रीट इज कोटेड विद एंटी रिफ्लेक्शन थिन फिल्म लेट से मैग्नेशियम डाइफ्लोराइड वेन द लाइट इज इंसिडेंट ऑन इट्स सर्फेस इट विल गेट रिफ्लेक्टेड फ्रॉम इट्स सर्फेस लेट से आर वन फ्रॉम द टॉप सर्फेस ऑफ द एंटी रिफ्लेक्शन कोटिंग एंड फ्रॉम द सर्फेस ऑफ द सबस्ट्रेट it will get reflected let's say the ray r2 as shown in this diagram now depending upon the wavelength there is a constructive and destructive interference will be observed so in this diagram an f is the refractive index of magnesium difluoride thin film which is 1.38 and zero is refractive index of incident medium ns is the refractive index of substrate R1 is reflected ray from the upper surface of the film R2 is the reflected ray from lower surface of the film and lambda by 2 is the path difference between the reflected beams now if the interference in a quarter wave that is lambda by 4 anti reflection coating shown in this diagram this anti reflection coatings are designed so that the relative phase shift between the beam reflected at the upper and lower boundaries of the thin film is 180 degree destructive interference between two reflected beams occurs which cancels out both beams before they exit the surface the optical thickness of the optical coating must be an odd integer multiple of lambda by 4 where lambda is the design wavelength or wavelength being optimized for peak performance in order to achieve the desired path difference of lambda by 2 between the reflected beams when achieved this it will lead to the cancellation of the beams the refractive index of the thin film that is nf needed for complete cancellation of reflected beams can be found by using the refractive indices of the incident medium that is n0 and the substrate that is ns magnesium difluoride is often used since this is a hard wearing and can be easily applied to substrate even though its index is higher than the desirable that is n is equal to 1.38 the optical thickness of anti reflection coating can be measured using t is equal to lambda by 4 into nf where t is the thickness of the film lambda is the wavelength of the light and nf is the refractive index of the film so this is all about the applications of interference which we have seen that is testing of optical flatness and second one is the anti reflection coatings now let's discuss about the problem solving based on anti reflection coating problem is a thin film of magnesium difluoride of refractive index 1.38 is coated on glass plate in order to reduce the reflection from glass surface using interference how thick coating is required to produce minimum reflection at the center of visible spectrum of wavelength 5500 angstrom unit the solution for this problem is as follows we have given parameters refractive index of mgf2 is nf is equal to 1.38 wavelength of the light is 5500 into 10 raised to minus 8 cm for air medium refractive index is equal to 1 let's say for normal incident angle of refraction r is equal to 0 hence cos of r that is cos of 0 is equal to 1 so we have formula 2 mu t is equal to lambda by 2 so rearranging this equation as mu for air medium is equal to 1 therefore thickness of coating small t is equal to lambda upon 4 into nf therefore t is equal to 5500 into 10 to the minus 8 which is the wavelength divided by 4 into the refractive index of the mg f2 that is 1.38 therefore t is equal to 0.9963 into 10 to the minus 5 cm therefore rearranging this value we can write the thickness of the coating t is equal to 0.1 micrometer so this is the solution of this numerical this is all about the applications of interference that is testing of optical flatness and anti reflection coating 
in my next lecture video i will discuss about diffraction phenomena types of diffraction and diffraction at a single slit so please do not miss my next lecture video thank you below this video in the description the link of important information related to this video is given please go through it please like and share this video and subscribe to dr khalkar's classroom channel to get the notifications about my upcoming videos thank you